live long enough, we'll experience it. Uh, and, and, and so I guess that's good. The, the, um, um, I had the immense privilege yesterday, uh, in Phoenix, we played in Phoenix uh, last night, and um, this was just a real, real shock to me, but at, at sound check, our sound check in the afternoon, which is usually about 4.30, 5 o'clock, uh, I met a gentleman that I did not expect to meet, and I just couldn't believe it, but I got to meet Paolo Soleri himself. He, he's 91 years old, and uh, just, you know, probably he's just one of the most charming people you'd ever meet in your life. And, uh, and we talked about the theater, we talked about uh, how it was for him back in the 60s when he uh, designed and, and oversaw the construction here. Uh, and he just talked about how important uh, this place has been to him his entire life. And uh, when I asked him how he felt about what's, what's going on, he just did this. He went, <laughs> and I, I, I thought that was perfect. And so, uh, with his spirit in mind, uh, with the sort of uh, vision that he has shown throughout his entire life uh, as an architect, uh, and his and the vision uh, for the world that he's shown us in his designs and his. Uh, ideas for community, uh, for the design of communities, and how you know how and his great suggestions on how we should live. Uh, uh, I'll sing this song uh, for him tonight uh, uh, because I know that uh, New Mexico is a dangerous place to do this. But uh, <laughs> I, when I when I met Paolo Soler, I thought you know he would have done really well. 